Hi guys, in this video, I'm going to share my top tips on how to be confident on video. Now, why do you want to be video? Video. Ah! <laughs> oh, funny. So guys, in this video, I'm going to share with you my top tips on how to be confident on camera. If you own a business or you're thinking of starting a business, you need to be thinking about being on camera. Why? Because video is just the future. And so if you're not being seen, you need to start thinking about how you can get yourself out there, okay? And I hope these tips help you. I'm personally not somebody that is um, always in front of the camera. So, you know, from being kind of like a person that's behind the camera a lot, not really kind of in your face type person, God has really just transitioned my journey so that actually I'm now much more confident on camera and I wanted to share my journey and just hope it helps you on your way as well. If you are new, my name is Bookie and this channel is dedicated to topics on business growth, wealth creation and all round abundant living from a Christian perspective. With engaging topics set to enhance your journey, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you never miss a video. Okay, guys, so tip number one is literally just be yourself, okay? There's no need to, you know, try and put on a facade or try and be someone that you're not. Just be yourself, you know, let your guards down, you know, talk to the camera like you're talking to a friend, you know, think about someone that you're close to that you want to have a conversation with and just let your guard down, okay? That would be my number one tip. You know, be yourself, um, let your guard down and just talk to the camera, like you are conversing with a friend. That's just the best way, okay? Tip two is don't take yourself too seriously. Obviously, if you're sharing serious content, then obviously you'd have to have a you know, demeanor that shows that. But what I mean by that is just literally, sometimes you're gonna make mistakes as you've seen in some of my videos, but you know, it's okay to make mistakes. You can test things out on other, on like live platforms if you want to, um, and just to kind of get a feel for yourself on video. But just generally I'd say, don't take yourself too seriously. Don't, you know, make it like you're reporting to, you know, you're reporting the news or something, you know. As I said before, let your guard down. And number two, don't take yourself too seriously. Um, and just let it flow, you know. Relax, let it flow. Be calm, cool and collected. And, you know, it will just naturally flow like a conversation. Okay? Tip three is plan your content. Plan what you want to say, you know. If you fail to plan you plan to fail right yeah that's right yeah so cool so just plan your plan your script and make sure that you've got you know your bullet points at least do not read a script or you'll come across like a robot but just plan your script know what you want to say know the point you want to get across and it will start to flow nicely as you are speaking to the camera okay cool tip four christians you have a helper what's his name the holy spirit yes tap into god ask god even though you have planned i always ask the holy spirit to really just speak through me even though i've planned and so that whatever i say it he will know how it's going to come out to touch the right people or the right person and even if it's just one person that you are called to touch in that video that's okay you know so you know use what god has given you in way of his spirit to lead you and guide you on what to say and how it comes across. So please make sure you tap into God, ask God, ask the Holy Spirit to lead you and to guide you in your words and then just flow, like really relax and just um, ask God to really just flow through your words and flow through what you have to say. Um, and he will. And, um, you know, I've had lots of feedback. I've got a really, really small channel. I've had loads of feedback just about, you know, really touching people and they've really, um, they've really been helped with the little audience that I have so you know you don't know who you have been called to touch and I really want to emphasize this point as if you as a Christian you, know, you have the Holy Spirit inside of you there is somebody that you are designed and you are called to bless so don't hold back be available let God use you and watch what will happen tip five Use your sword to fight the fear. Use the word of God to combat fear. And this could be in anything. Maybe not be in shooting a video. It could be in anything. You know, God has not given you the spirit of fear, but of power, of love, and of a sound mind. So you can use your authority to reject fear and you can do all things through Christ who strengthens you. One thing I do on a regular basis is I have my daily affirmations, daily declarations that I do and it's really really helpful. So if you have got that kind of maybe God is calling you to something a bit uncomfortable to your flesh, um, 
keep declaring the scriptures. You know, I I do not have a spirit of fear, but I have a, I have a sound mind. And greater is He that is in me than He that is in the world. And I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Amen. So keep declaring it, keep speaking it. And as you do that, you will find that your mind, because faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God. The more you speak it out, the more you hear it, and the more you are transformed. Okay, cool. Okay, so the next tip is watch your pace. So naturally, I am a fast talker, and that used to be a crutch for me because I used to be scared of speaking out in public because I I was so I was so sure that I was talking too fast now. And when I'm even more fearful, I talk even faster. So I was just not a person that generally would speak in the front. But God just squashed all of that through the word of God, you know. So what you need to do is that if you naturally do talk fast, just be mindful of that and then just watch your pace. And you can, you know, I've got another tip, which I'll just show you now. It's just basically share with a friend or someone that's close to you to give you some feedback. And then, you know, you could do the video over and over again. OK, so you could just, you know, get comfortable and, you know, on camera if you are someone that talks fast. Now, on the other hand, if you talk slow, that could send someone to sleep. So, you know, on the other hand, you want to make sure if you're a slow speaker, make sure that you are, in, you, you really engage your audience with your topic and make sure that you are upbeat uh, and make sure that, you know, you just show enthusiasm in the way that you communicate your video. Okay. Okay. So the next tip, which I've already kind of shared is basically sharing with another friend, a close friend, mind you, a close friend or family member, just one or two, not many, just, and just get a little bit of constructive criticism feedback to find out, you know, what they think of it and is there any way you can improve or you know, just get some feedback from your videos I mean that's always a good thing to do you know so make sure you do that and that'll give you more confidence you know with their feedback and keep doing it you know there's no real hurry you can basically go over the video you can set your own pace you can keep just keep practicing the more you practice which I've already gone to the next tip <laughs> is practice 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 uh is basically the next tip, and when you practice, you will definitely become better on video. I am nowhere near perfection, but as I've been doing it, in this short period of time, I've got more confident just in a really short space of time, along with all the tips that I have shared with you. So I hope that has really, really helped. And last but not least, talk about something that you are passionate about, okay? Passion shines through a topics that you love, that you are engaged with, that passion will shine through in your videos. Okay, so make sure you choose topics that you love, that you enjoy, that you really want to share on and you will just see that naturally you will um, really just engage with your audience. Okay, I hope that's been helpful. And talking about topics that I'm passionate about, I'm passionate about all things kingdom, all things business growth, all things wealth creation. So hit me up and subscribe if you are interested in any of those topics and I will see you in the next video. I hope it's been helpful and I look forward to seeing you and sharing with you soon.